Welcome back to the shop. I'm Kirk Anderson. This week's project really doesn't have anything to do with woodworking. It's a dog run for the backyard. My issue was I had a family member that's gonna come live with me for a little while and they have a dog. So in order to give the dog some room to move around, I decided to put up a dog run. Now I didn't have any trees or anything in the backyard that I could stretch a dog run between. So I'm using some chain link fence posts in order to make the run. The first thing I'm doing is I'm drilling some holes in the post for some eye bolts. Now the dog in question is a German Shepherd so I need to try and make this as hefty as possible. Now the fence posts I'm using are seven foot posts. Now to really anchor the posts, I'm gonna put concrete in there. Where I'm just gonna put the concrete in dry and then add the water into the hole and then mix it up. It does take a little bit longer to do this, but when you have no way to mix concrete, this method does work. Now for each post, I had an 80 pound bag of concrete and I didn't use quite the whole bag on each post. So I'm estimating there's about 60 pounds of concrete in each post. Well, I left about four inches from the top of the concrete, that's so I could backfill it in with soil. And then once it was backfilled, I just tapped down the soil a little bit. Now to go from post to post, I'm using a metal rope. And to attach the rope to the post, I'm using a D-ring and a turnbuckle. The thing that I really like about turnbuckles in a situation like this is that you can adjust the tension of the rope. And then I attach the pulley to the wire rope and the leash will be attached to the pulley. That's so it will move nice and smooth over the rope. Well, that completes this project. As I said, it's not related to woodworking, but this is a good DIY project that you can do if you happen to have a dog that's gonna be staying with you for a while and your yard is not fenced in. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this project and the video and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And even though I didn't make any sawdust in this project, I still wanna tell all you woodworkers out there, just go out there and cut some wood.